Tomorrow marks the end of Operation Santa Claus. <laughs> That's right. Hello! Oh, hello! Wayne Coyne of the Flaming Lips. I do enjoy your brand of psychedelic rock. Look, let me call you back from another line. Wayne Coyne and the rest of the Flaming Lips spent the last seven years making a strange space movie that's been playing at rock festivals and other offbeat venues. It's been called The Wizard of Oz Meets Eraserhead. Let's talk to Wayne about the movie he wrote and co-directed, Christmas on Mars. Christmas on Mars. Wayne, your movie has a decidedly low-budget look to it. Were you trying to capture a certain era or genre? Not even really to play with genres. To me, it just gave it more like a dreamlike, otherworldly quality, as if you discovered it in some vault from the 1940s and thought, oh, look at this weird film someone left in here. Now, you've called the movie a freakout. Can you tell us what that means? Anybody who's familiar, say, with Dennis Hopper's Easy Rider, where they take some LSD and, and go to a cemetery in, in New Orleans. And I always thought of this as like, this is a great little freak out moment. I wanted people to know, if you watch this Flaming Lips movie, it's not just uh, just a story that you're gonna eat popcorn to. Things are gonna happen, and there's gonna be a story as well. You never know, it is Christmas Eve. Now, your movie has an alien dressed up as Santa. Is that an homage or a ripoff of Santa Claus Conquers the Martians? I have to say, I, I wasn't aware of it when I started, but I would hope that there would be endless versions of Christmas in outer space using Martians and different stories that could be told. So I never worry about, am I being wholly original or am I just being sort of absorbed in the same sick sort of fantasies that everybody else out there is making movies is doing. Who do you think would like your movie more, David Bowie or David Lynch? Not knowing David Bowie's sensibilities, he probably would say, Wayne, you're not as skinny as I was when I fell to earth and when I played the, the, the Martian. And I would say, well, I know, but you were addicted to 10 kinds of drugs and I'm just a man who likes to drink coffee. David Lynch, I think he would utterly love this. And I think what he would love most about it is the fact that I did it in my backyard and he would just be like, oh, see, you know, anything is possible. Summer blockbusters are sometimes called popcorn movies. But what do Flaming Lips fans consume while viewing Christmas on Mars? The combination that they were doing mostly was um, mushrooms and Red Bull, so. Hold on a second, Wayne. For information on where you can see Christmas on Mars, check out cinemapurgatorio.com. From the sci-fi department, I'm Kevin Marr, wishing you happy holidays. Merry Christmas!